Hello there, this is me. Thought I'd uh, bring the bike round <coughs> for a bit of uh, off road. It's just down the Ironstones Railway. Um, it's one of the remnants of a railway track that once was, and they path it and uh, make a sort of uh, a way for pedestrians and cyclists, which is kind of cool. And this one runs up to a school near me. And uh, I'm just not going too quickly along here because um, there's a lot of uh, dog walkers and kids running around and things like that. So nice and steady. Idea is to try and um, right. We're onto the trail now, which goes from from um, the um, from the school uh, to um, uh, Haunton. I'm, I'm, I'm in an hour here, aren't I? Uh, which is a little village and it's a really good little off-road track. I've, I've not been down it yet. I had a problem with my camera. I haven't tightened the um, bolts well enough and so a few of these shots it sort of gets lower and lower but I realise it's actually not a bad thing because uh, you can see the tyre and suspension in the road but uh, so I've tried to edit out um, some of it but I thought I'd leave some of it in for a bit of fun. So you can see this bike's not really a top off-road machine at all. It's a cheap, cheap steel bike. Now this lane was fun. We've had um, a lot of um, well, dry weather really and only recently some rain so it was a weird mix of nice hard packed mud and um, puddles and stuff so I let some air out the tyres and um, whizzed along I was doing quite, going quite well along here sort of um, touching 30 mile an hour in places um, which just feels really quick on that bike and um, it's great, it's really good fun the one, the one thing I do have to watch for is the kids from the estate bring their pit, pit bikes along here and um, so you do have to keep uh, an eye out for those guys coming the other way. But luckily today uh, there was nothing. So, but it was the first time I'd been out. I'd looked at this trail on the map. Um, you can see some pretty big puddles there, which I wasn't keen on going through. Got my new trainers on. And um, yeah, so it, it worked really, really well. Actually, the bike is great. It's really works well off road. And there you go, the camera dropped down again and tilted it back up. But. Uh, yeah, they're quite. Um, even though you think you've got the mounts quite tight, you have to do them up really tight to stop them moving, especially when you're off-road. I also had to stop a couple of times um, because my batteries to come unhooked in the back, and I was just running uh, uh, for a while. This this is really muddy here. I was running for a while just on uh, on half a pack, so you have to be careful. And uh, so I'm going to take them up next time. Um, yeah, so this was good. I, I, uh, I'm going to come along here again and, and give it another run. Um, it'd be quite good fun to come along at night as well. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't see anyone else, which is good. The other day when I came up here, there was a lot of people around, and uh, I thought this would be good just after work, get a pass out for an hour off of uh, the girlfriend there, and, uh, and come out and just have a blast. I did about 13 miles on this run on about half the back of the pack so I wasn't really pedaling very much um, just uh, um, you know as little as possible really so um, right now slowed down here and just turned into uh, turned into one of these uh, it's like a copse it's like a little wood a lot of the kids with the um, the pit bikes um, they they, uh, they go through here on a fairly regular basis uh, but there wasn't any there today, so I just uh, thought I would pull in and uh, have a little play and see what was going on. There's no one around, but it's good fun. It's a good fun little trails, and it was very bumpy around this section here. And um, yeah, it was. Uh, so I uh, have to be a bit careful on that bike, like I say, because I've got a beam rack on the back, so no jumps or anything like that. Um, that would be the end of the rack. It's pretty tough on it, I should think, as it is. I've got about. Eight pounds of batteries in the back there in the case, so I can't afford to go going too mental, <clears throat> as this is my work bike as well. Although I've got four bikes, so if this one did get busted, I've got plenty of spares and um, plenty of motors and parts and things, so it's not a problem to fix it. Um, but it's good fun around those woods. I'll have to uh, perhaps come back again with a, a maybe a full sus bike and go a bit faster. Right, it's back onto the road. Now we jump from here. Um, we jump about probably five miles. I just cut it because it's all road riding, really. And we go to another farmer's track. Now I've not been up here again. This is suffering the, the same problem with um, puddles. And uh, 
my camera's still not tight enough. I, I did manage to tighten it up actually towards the end. And um, yeah, I thought I could get through properly this and I'd looked on the map um, and on Google Maps. I thought I could cut across, but uh, the farm had got it all blocked off. It's a very um, fairly run down looking farm and some of these cows didn't look so healthy to me. I'm no farmer Giles, but they looked a bit on the thin side, but um, times are hard I suppose. And uh, yeah, good fun, the old uh, forks you could see, they're only cheap forks and they were popping out a fair few times, but they actually quite they actually do work quite well for cheap suspension forks. And with it being a steel frame, it's um, not as rigid as an aluminium and it does they're big tires, they're, they're two two and a halfs on there and um, knobbly as hell, so they actually when you let the air out of them it's um does work well. Now this field was um, was bumpy, <laughs> really bumpy, and it was the sort of shortcut I had to make here. Again, the camera dropping and uh, it's having to uh, readjust. But yeah, it was really, really bumpy. So I had to wary of the batteries coming disconnected and only running on half the pack again. I was watching my speed, otherwise I'd have gone a bit quicker. But it was a bone shaker, and um, and I, I raced to the end here. Of course, it dropped down. And it was all barbed wide off. Now, there's something you can't do with a a, uh, a heavy bike is lift it over the fence. But this one, it's no problem at all. So, even though there's barbed wire stopping me going any further, I just picked the bike up and lifted it over the fence, and uh, we adjusted the camera <laughs> again. And um, yeah, there's the bike. There's myself. And just thought I'd stop. Have a little. It's really nice. Actually, quite a nice view from up here on a sunny day. This next section of trial I came down about two weeks ago, no, a week ago, and um, there was a guy behind me and uh, he, he went over the bars on this bit, this is really steep, I was going a bit steady, it was quite a steep downhill, a nice little section. And just around the bend the guy went straight over the bars, it was horrible, he, um, I went back to him and he'd, he'd smashed his face up really bad, uh, broken his nose and he'd broken his collarbone and they had to get the uh, ambulance down to him, he couldn't move so and uh, he and he wasn't wearing a helmet, the, the damage was from actually from his um, his sunglasses uh, he was wearing metal framed sunglasses and um, they really did cut his face up bad so there's a tip for you if you go off road and you want to wear shades don't wear metal frame shades um, yeah so we're uh, running towards the end of the video now um, this little section runs out of, the, out of there up to um, um, a, a campsite at Warmington here, up quite a steep hill here, well a very steep hill in fact, um, whizzed up there and uh, realised I hadn't quite got it, the gears selected properly so I couldn't help it much and we got to the top and had a little pan around, really nice, and back on the road and then we're sort of four miles from home here but it's just road riding so I just blasted back. So it's a nice, um, nice hour sort of trip, 13 miles and, uh, and it's great fun. And uh, back home there's the batteries beeping away, you can't, you might zoom in, if you're in HD you can see the stats on the, um, on the, on the meter. Alright, I'm going to shut up now, see you later.